I'm Natasha Kopiwat from Jericho, New York. Every 40 seconds, suicide steals a life. Yet after 50 years of intensive research, suicide prediction and prevention methods have minimally improved. For instance, no biomarkers for suicide exist, leaving biomarker identification as the number one priority on the National Institute of Health's 2023 suicide prevention agenda. Further, medications used to treat suicide lack efficacy and can even induce suicidality. And the reason for the lack of progress is because we continue to view suicide purely through a psychological framework. Gold standard prediction methods are behavioral based, such as self-report questionnaires, which can lead to concealment of suicidal intent. In my study, I examined suicide through a neurobiological perspective through a human postmortem study to elucidate pathogenesis. I found increase in clonin-5 breakdown, the most predominant tight junction protein of the blood-brain barrier confirmed through an ELISA assay and anatomical localization, where I found excess mislocalized clonin-5 in the neurons of suicide decedents. Once I confirmed clonin-5 as a biomarker for suicide, I conducted differentially expressed gene analysis to determine genetic risk loci for therapeutic targets. I found the top differentially expressed genes in suicide to be associated with neurodegeneration, suggesting that the way we view suicide purely as psychological is flawed. I also found matrix methylproteinase 1 and aquaporin 1, genes that modulate clonin-5 activity, to be dysregulated in suicide. Finally, I molecularly docked medications targeting matrix methylproteinase 1 and aquaporin 1 and found that the binding affinity to clonin-5 was stronger than the current medications we use to treat suicide today, suggesting alternative novel therapeutics. My study has significant clinical applications as I identified clonin-5 as a biomarker for suicide, genetic risk loci for therapeutic targets, and new treatment modalities, which truly have the potential to catalyze suicide prevention efforts. Thank you.